In this video, we are going to have a look at the latest Huawei GT2e smartwatch. Kia good morning everyone, Richard Wong here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to have a look at the Huawei GT2e smartwatch. If this smartwatch sounds or look a little bit familiar to you, that's because it was only I think around 6 months ago that I reviewed the Huawei GT2 smartwatch. Now this GT2e smartwatch is not a replacement, it is more like an additional new member to the Huawei GT2 series smartwatch, uh, share a lot of features but have some different design. One thing I want to mention first before I continue is that the Huawei GT2e just like the GT2 is compatible with pretty much all the smartphones in the market right now. You don't necessarily have to use a Huawei smartphone, you can use pretty much any Android phone. And even if you are an iPhone user, you can still use the GT2 or GT2e with your iPhone, but there are a few features that is not compatible with the iOS device. The body of the watch GT2e is made of metal and it feels very nice. The overall build quality seems to be very good. And from my previous experience with the Huawei watch GT and then the watch GT2, it should be a very durable watch because with the Watch GT and GT2e, which I have both used a lot, and the watch still looks like almost like brand new after many, many months of usage. And to be honest, I'm not the most careful person when it comes to watches. I would quite often bang the watch onto different things and still not a single issue. I would expect the GT2e to be pretty much the same as well. The biggest difference between the new GT2e and the original GT2 is the design. If you look at the original GT2, it's designed more like a traditional watch, more like an analog watch. Look at just the buttons on the side, it's mimicking like what the um, analog watch will look like. So the overall design is more classic, it's more for people who prefer to have a traditional looking watch. While with the GT2e, it has a much younger and more like a digital watch design. You don't have that analog style button on the side. and It just looks more like a typical fitness or sports watch would look like. And for example, if you look at the strap with the original GT, it will have a leather strap while the GT2e is using a rubber plastic kind of material for the strap. Now, I'll talk about the strap, it's just used a standard 22mm um, watch strap. So if you want to replace it, it's pretty easy. There's a pin at the back here. So if you push it, then you can take off that uh, the strap from it and you can just replace it with any other 22mm standard watch strap. So which watch has the better design? I think that's a very personal thing. For me, I prefer the GT2 because I like a more classic, more traditional watch design. But if you are younger than me and maybe you are a more sporty person, then I think you probably prefer the more younger and more sporty look of the GT2e. In terms of the specs, the Huawei Watch GT2e is pretty much the same as the Huawei Watch GT2. It uses the Kirin A1 chipset. So this is a custom chipset that is designed for wearable devices. Very energy efficient, very low power consumption to make sure the battery life is good. It has a 1.4 inch AMOLED display. The resolution is 154 by 154. The display is very nice. The color is very nice and also very bright. So even when you have to use it under bright sunlight, you can still see it quite clearly. The screen is also a touch screen, so you can easily just swipe through the different screens so that you can check the time, the temperature, your heart rate, stress level, and many other information. And to access the main menu and most other features, you use the two button on the side here. So overall, the menu system and everything is pretty responsive. The animation between the screen is also quite nice. But having said that, because I have been using um, the original Watch GT and then the GT2 and then now the GT2e, so that's been quite a while, but still I find quite often 
I would have pressed the wrong button when I'm trying to access some certain feature or um, I would swipe the screen at the screen that I shouldn't swipe that way and then I have to stop and think a bit and then oh I press the wrong button it should be this one or that one so that kind of suggests to me that there are some room for the UI to improve to make it more user intuitive there are quite a few different sensors on the watch. If you look at the back, you can see there's the heart rate sensor, oxygen sensor, uh, also has gyroscope, air pressure sensor, pretty much all the common sensor that you would expect to see on a smartwatch is there on the Watch GT2e. And the watch also has a built-in GPS. That means if you go out, for example, for a run, you can just use the watch GPS to help you to track your running. For example, this morning I went out for a quick run. I didn't bring my phone with me, so I was just wearing the watch. So after I finished the run, then I checked my phone and I launched the Huawei Health app, which is the app that is used to uh, communicate with this smartwatch. And I can immediately see the result of my run. I can see where I ran to, the distance, uh, my road, how I ran, and also all the other information like my heartbeat, the speed, and etc and also the GPS on the watch seems to be pretty accurate. So that is pretty good because when you go out for a run or exercise, you don't have to bring your phone with you. The watch itself is enough to track all the information. And another reason why you don't have to bring the phone with you is because the watch has a 4 gigabyte internal memory so that you can load lots of music onto the watch so that you can just play the music while you're doing exercise. You can connect it to a Bluetooth headphone and you don't necessarily have to use the Huawei FreeBud. You can connect it to pretty much just any normal Bluetooth headphone and then you can listen to music through the headphone. Now I said the watch has 4GB memory, but when the first time I tried to load some music onto the watch, I noticed um, it says it only has 2GB memory available for me to upload music to the watch. Um, not too sure why it's only 2GB. I understand that the 4GB is like the total memory, so some of the memory will be used by the OS or other thing. But 2GB is still quite a bit less than the 4GB total memory. If you have watched my original Watch GT2 review, one thing I mentioned in that review is, even though the watch is capable of um, updating and changing to a different watch face using the Huawei Health app, but back at that time, the here in New Zealand, that feature was not available and um, the guys from Huawei New Zealand, they told me that they are trying to get it available, but they can't promise me when that will happen. But now I'm happy to tell you that this feature is now available in New Zealand. So you can change the watch face using the Huawei Health app. You can just go in there and there are tons of watch face that you can choose from some very nice design and some of them you can even customize it. The watch is water resistant up to 50 meter. I haven't got a chance to wear it and go for a swim yet. But since I received this sample, I have been wearing it pretty Pretty much 24 7 so even when I shower I was still wearing the watch and there's absolutely no problem. The watch support notification which to me is the most important even though it's probably the most basic feature for a smartwatch. Go to the Huawei health app you can choose what are the apps that you want to receive notification on the smartwatch. One thing I really like about the Huawei Watch GT or GT2e is its sleep monitoring. So if you wear it when you are sleeping, then the watch can monitor your sleep pattern and also your sleep quality and then the next morning when you wake up, you can see a very nice and detailed report of your sleep. You can see when you fall asleep, when you wake up, did you wake up um, during the middle of the night and also your sleep quality, whether you were in light sleep or deep sleep and also things like your breathing quality and it will also analyze all the results that it captured from your sleep and then tell you how good or how bad your sleep was and also it will give you some suggestion on how to improve your sleep quality. I found that there are some times that I feel quite tired during the day and then when I go back and check my previous night's sleep quality, normally the previous night I was actually not sleeping very well. 
another good thing with the sleep monitoring is it helped me to understand or remind me where uh, my sleeping could actually be improved for example if I sleep too late or if I don't sleep enough or my sleeping time is not really regular because when you go to the health app you can easily see when you have some sleep problems that you can easily improve yourself the Huawei GT2e it has 15 different professional workout modes and also has 85 custom workout modes now i'm not really a very sporty person so i have not go through and tried out all the different workout modes myself but i have tried a few different ones and it is definitely a very useful feature especially for people who want to work out quite a lot the thing I like the most about the Watch GT2 is definitely its battery life. Most of the smartwatch in the market, the battery can only last maybe one day, two day, three day if you're lucky, and not too many can last more than that. But with the Huawei Watch GT2, the official figure from Huawei is that the battery life is 14 days, even if you use it. 24 7 you wear it um, 24 hours a day with the heartbeat tracking turn on sleep monitoring turn on notification turn on um, the official figure is still 14 days so that is very impressive because some other watch they claim they may claim a similar amount of uh, battery life but if you look at the fine print it's like if this is off and this is off this is off but with the gt 2 e it's with pretty much all the features turned on and it still say the official figure is 14 day now about my real life experience last time i fully charged it it was about i think 10 days ago and now if i look at the battery life remaining it is still 18 percent so that means it should probably last at least two to three more day and that would give it very close to the 14 day clamped battery life and i do wear it 24 7 with all the feature turned on and did a bit of exercise and as you can imagine um, I have been using the watch more than normal because I was um, reviewing the watch so trying out all the features and it's still very close to probably around 12 13 day or so so definitely you can achieve 14 day or even more battery life quite easily okay so this is my little review of the huawei watch gt2e as usual if you have any questions about the huawei watch gt2e please feel free to ask me thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video